Hi everyone. Last time I showed you how to use the where clause. As part of that, we explored some comparison operators such as equal to, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. If you have not watched my previous video, I highly encourage you to go watch those, okay, before watching this, okay? Since this video also is part of the series of videos I've been showing you guys, okay? And I'll put the link to the playlist in the description below. All right, guys. But for today, we will continue to learn how to use the WHERE clause, which we started as part of the previous video, okay? By exploring the AND operator today, okay? So I would encourage you right now, bring up your PG admin and let us get started. We are going to be using the table which we uploaded as part of my previous video, okay? Which is the DVD rental uh, database, okay? That we loaded to... Uh, to our Postgres. So if you come right here, go to query tool and let us start. Okay. Now, for us to understand how to use the where clause as part of the AND logical operator, let us first of all, you know, write a select statement that shows all the columns in the film table. Okay. I've shown you this before. You know how to do this right now. So let us execute. Okay, as you can see, we have 1,000 rows. As part of this table, which is the film table, we have the film ID, the title, the description. And as a matter of fact, you can also see it right here. If you come to film and you go to columns, you can see the different columns. Release year, language ID, rental rate, length, replacement cost. You can see everything also right here, okay? But let us, in this case, let us select specific columns. Let us assume we want to select the title of the movie, put a comma. We want to select the release year, put a comma. We want to select the rental, rental duration, rental duration. We also want to select, let's select rental rates. Okay. Remember we have the, the different columns right here. We are selecting title, release year rental duration and rental rate okay now let us run let us execute i'm going to execute you can see we have those four columns right here we still have 1000 rows right but let us assume as part of what we are doing we have been asked to show these four columns but we want to show it for rental rate that is greater than two and less than 499 Take note, we want to do it for rental rates greater than 2 and less than 499. Because if you look at this rental rate right now, we have 499, 299, 099, right? 099, 499. But in this case now, we want to we don't want to select everything. We want to select only those ones that the rental rate is greater than 2. So that means that 099, we are not going to see that anymore. Okay and we also want to make sure that it is less than 499 okay if it is less than 499 then we don't expect to see 499 okay so how do we do that we are going to have our where clause so we are going to say where rental rate is greater than two and rental rate is less than 499 you see that now because when you are using the logic if you are using when you are using the and operator okay that means that this all these conditions needs to be met right so that means that we need to have a rental rate greater than two at the same time the rental rate needs to be less than 499 let us execute good you can see now that our total rows is 323 before it was 1000 now it is 323 you can see now that we have 299 because we said we want our rental rate to be greater than 2 and less than 499 so we have 299 you can see all these are 299 we don't have 499 anymore okay now we, we have been able to meet these two conditions okay but let's assume that we also want 499 to be included 
what do we do we can say equal to so that means i will say less than or equal to 499 so that means i am saying my rental rate is greater than two and rental rate is less than or equal to 499 that means in this case 499 is going to be inclusive take note of this total rules right here this is 323 right here now let us execute very good you can see now we increase to 659 you can see now we have 499 as part of our output we have 499 we have 299 that means we are able to meet these two conditions these two criteria that we want to see the title release year rental duration rental rate from for our film that whose rental rate is greater than two and less than or equal to 499 okay i hope you guys understand this logic right now this is pretty easy guys now let us also look at another scenario right here guys let me take all this away let us let only look at film id remember we also have film id as part of the column okay let us take out this where clause for now let us only select this column film id from the film table let us let us run that execute you can see we go back to our 1000 rules because we are only selecting film id we don't have any condition right now okay but what if I want to put a condition in place that I only want to see the film ID that are between 8 and 62. That means we want 8 to be inclusive, 62 to be inclusive. That means I want a film ID, a film ID that is greater than or equal to 8. Okay. And film ID that is what? that is less than or equal to 62 take note what we are trying to do right here is that we want to see film id that is greater than or equal to 8 and that film id is also less than or equal to 62 so that means it ranges from 8 ranges from 8 and 62 62 and 8 are both inclusive okay also this type of you know what we are doing right here we could also use uh another logic in uh to do that which we we, we are going to be looking at as part of the next uh video whereby we are going to be using between uh the between command okay but as part of this we are using the and logical operator we want to see film id that is greater than or equal to 8 and less than or equal to 62 Take note, we have 1,000 rows right here. Let us see what we get right now if we apply this logic. Remember, we need to meet these two conditions. Any data that meets these two conditions is what we are going to, you know, get out. Okay, that we are going to be, re be returning. Okay, so let us run that. You see now, we have 55. We have 55 rows. We are only showing film ID that is that start from 8 right and also so basically that film id that is greater than or equal to 8 and less than or equal to 62 you see i have 8 9 10 11 12 13 you can see that that i also got up to 62 you can see that right now guys so that is that is how you are going to be applying your where clause with the and statement i hope you guys understand that right it is very easy let us take a look at one more example which i think is also uh vital right here to help to seal you know to reinforce your learning right here okay let us go to another table let us take a look at the payment table payment table payment table let's look at one more example guys so that you can reinforce your learning okay so the payment table this is the payment table it has payment id customer id staff id rental id amount and payment date let us first of all explore the all the columns okay so i'm going to say select star from payments if i execute that good you can see that the total of how many rows do we have Fourteen thousand five nine six. Fourteen thousand five nine six. even though this is sharing saying 1000 what this means is just that what it is returning for us on the screen is 1000 rows however 
the total row is 14,596. Okay, so this is these are all the columns. All right, guys, you can now see that we have all the columns, right? Uh, when we select a star from payment, okay. Now, what about if we now want to put some logic in place right there? Let's assume that we want a where clause of say the payment dates payment date is greater than or equal to 2007 okay february 18 what does that mean that means that from 2007 february 18 we have uh we have february 18 as part of the date right here you just have to go through uh this date this is 2007 february 18 okay so we want to look at payment date that is greater than or equal to february 18 2007 that means this date is going to be inclusive okay remember this is just one we are close right here that we are one condition so if i run that remember that we have 14596 right here let us see what happens execute very good you can see now that we have 13 six nine six right here because now we are actually specifying that we want to only see those columns whose payment date is greater than or equal to february 18 2007 okay now what if we want to add another condition let's assume we want to add a condition that the amount that amount is equal to let's say 799 Okay, you can see that we have amounts here 299, 799, 599, 299, 599, 699. Okay, we want to have these two conditions right here this payment date and then this amount date. So that means we are going to be returning those rows that matches these two conditions where the payment date is 2007, February 18 and above, and the amount is 7 is equal to 799 you can see that equal to let us run that quickly guys execute good you can see now that the total rows we have right now is 583 what did we do right there amount we said it should be 799 and we said our payment date should be february 18th and above as you can see february 19 21 28 you know so that is what we have so you have this it's meeting these two conditions this condition and also this condition let us uh, let us uh, add one more condition let's put this right here for easy reading okay so let us say we want to also see as you can see you have staff id right here let's say we want to only see the one that the staff id is one is one so that means i will say staff id okay equals to one okay can you see that right there if you also want depending on what you are trying to do you could also even say you want amount that is greater than 7.99 that is also fine but let us keep it to equals to 7.99 and also our staff id to be equal to one you can see what i'm doing right here this is one condition the date needs to be greater than or equal to these dates and take note it should be in 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 quote a single quote then we are saying that another condition is that the amount should be equals to 7.99 and then it should be by staff id equals to one if it doesn't meet these three conditions then it's not going to return that or it's not going to return anything so we want the rules that meet these three conditions take note this is 583 we should have a reduction in that number if we run it execute very good guys you can see now we have 292 rows you can see now that the staff id we have right now is all ones is all ones the amount we have is all 799 and the payment date is from february 18 2007 upward i hope you guys understand now how we are applying this logical operator called and into the where clause okay as part of the next video we are going to be looking at how we can be using or logical operator we have another logical operator that's called or so we are going to be applying that to our where clause and then later on we are going to be seeing how we can merge uh, and or and where clause 
uh, all together. You can see that this is becoming more interesting, guys. We still have more things to learn. This is just the beginning, guys. All right, guys, I will really encourage you, if you have not subscribed to our channel, to quickly go right there now and subscribe. Do not waste time. So, and make sure you subscribe and, 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 and click on the bell for notifications so that when anytime we drop our videos, you can get notified because we promise to give you to, to really help you to grow your, your technical skill, to grow your SQL skill, skills, okay? And then from there, you can, you know, start looking into becoming a data analyst or start exploring the roles of a data engineer because as part of that, we're also going to be teaching you Python as part of our, uh, our, our other uh, videos we are going to be uh, showing you guys. All right, go ahead and subscribe, guys. And if you have any question or if you have any comments, do not uh, forget to put that in the in the comment section. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Bye.